to do. Your foundation is strong. You build up on the rock and the storms are coming.
come into your arms, amen, in the spirit of the Lord. Amen. If you would just raise them hands up. When she, my daughter, was singing in the name of the Holy Ghost, she would run over to you. so much. Sister May, as you lead the service, uh, Brother Gene, you've been requesting him, saying, ain't no Greg gonna hold my body down. Amen. And this is for his uh, dear, sweet, wonderful mother. Amen. She wanted to hear her son sing this song tonight. Amen. I, I believe that's the right song. Amen. Worship the Lord tonight. Well, there ain't no Greg Oh, 
honey, that God's people are going to see that you never saw before. Honey, there's something to rise on. I'm not, not talking about the beast out of the sea. Are you huddable, incredible, right Honey, I'm here to tell you. Honey, it's closer. Honey, to the end time. And what the people think it is. Honey, Jesus is soon to come. Huddable, incredible, right He's trying to get his people ready. He's trying to get them born again. The more incredible sign. He said every destruction that he can. Honey, by the way, he's trying to wake the people. Honey, how they sleep. Honey, there's a lot of people tonight. Honey, they're slumbering and sleeping on God. It's time to wake up. I call out of your sleeping habit tonight. Get out of your chair and rise up and say, Jesus, I'm going to run for you. I'm going to be incredible, God, tell the devil to get off of your back and put him under your feet and tread upon him. Well, hallelujah. Jesus said, I give you power. And then we got the power. In the name of Jesus, raise him hands and go. Yes, you've got the power. You've got the power. We got victory in Jesus. Amen. I don't care if I go down tonight. Honey, I'm going to want you to look at this old boy tonight. The quicker I leave from this old world, honey, the better off I'm going to be. Amen. That's right. You may not feel that way, honey, but I'm ready to go. I'm waiting on my call. And they say amen. Well, hallelujah. Honey, I believe the devil is in the phone booth tonight. A dollar nine one one. A double E cut a bow cut tie. And if there's one thing for sure, and two things for certain, until God says it's enough, Amen. The devil, and they cannot stop. And in the hand of God, and they say, Amen. A double E cut a bow cut tie. As long as there's faith upon. On the earth, as long as we look unto him, for cometh our strength and help. Honey, I want you to know that devil knows he is doomed for hell. He don't have a leg to stand on. I'm the deal cut up by side. And in the beginning of time, honey, he had it made. But he thought he's going to exalt his throne, honey, above God. There's something God has created. He's not going to let they take over. Oh, animal, we cut him all side. I chased him, he cast him down to earth. Well, hallelujah. He didn't come by himself. I believe he brought about two thirds with him. Amen. Well, hallelujah. I'm here to tell you. Honey, this is just like it is. Honey, the devil, he thinks he's in control. Honey, but I got news for the devil. Honey, he don't have no control. Honey, God took his controls. Honey, away from him. Well, hallelujah. Amen. And it's time that we need to take back what the devil honey, has stole from you. Yeah. Honey, the devil will steal your joy. He'll steal your peace. Oh, he'll steal your happiness. But the more incredible God pay out. And if I'm here to let you know, I've got joy. I've got peace. And I've got happiness. And if he takes me out tonight, I'm going to be the happiest man there is in the world. Because I'm you can make it tonight. A lot of people say, I hope I make it. You better do more than hope. Amen. You can.
can make it. Amen. If you want to. Amen. But you got to want this. Amen. You got to want it. Amen. Praise God. I'm here to tell you say something about this tonight. Amen. If you praise Him, if you worship Him, and call upon Him in the hour, honey, I want you to know, yes, the devil is going to bring sickness. He's going to bring trouble. He's going to bring problems and situations. He's going to bring disappointment. Honey, but if you look on to Jesus, He'll take care of all of this stuff. I'm the more incredible God. Honey, this world hold nothing for me tonight. Honey, I don't want what this world is God. And you say amen. Honey, I'm in the world. I gotta live in this world. I gotta put up with a lot of stuff. But thank God it'll be worth it all. After a while, the journey will be worth it all. Honey, we're gonna make it. I say we're gonna make it. I'm the only kind of don't ever tell your children they cannot do anything but they're not going to make it I don't care what the situation is you encourage that child you tell that child you're going to make it I was reading in the Bible study. Amen. The disciples asked Jesus. Amen. Give him the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is the greatest in the kingdom? Amen. He took a little child. Amen. Church, we better come on board. That's that little child. Like this little child. You see these little children? Teaching them, honey, to praise God. We're teaching them to shout and to worship the Lord. Honey, I'm here to tell you, honey, a lot of people say they're too young. Honey, they're not too young. My God, hear me. If you watch these, I worship the Lord and begin to praise Him. Honey, when they're small, that's when they catch everything. We don't push our children aside here. We don't push them on the back burner. We teach them. We train them. We bring them up in abomination of the Lord. Woo! Yeah! 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 Woo! Teach them, brother. Grab the hold of this. My God! My God! These children is a light 
But for the people, honey, you'll be surprised what they tell you they learned in God's house. Yeah, give her the Holy Ghost. Give her the Holy Ghost. Woo! Yeah, I me. Mean, these children, they fight devils like you do. They fight spirits like you do. Hey, man, what we might understand, honey, they don't understand. But I'm here to tell you, honey, they're not afraid. Honey, to worship the Lord. Honey, they're not afraid. Ain't no brain. Boy, the whole your body down. Look away over yonder. And what do you think I see? I see a band of angels. And they're coming after me. Woo! Wow, won't it be wonderful? When we hear that trumpet sound. And the graves is going to bust open. And we're going to come up out of the ground. We're going to soar like an eagle. But know that it's alive and remain. They're going to be caught up in the air. Honey, to be the Lord forevermore. He said, come for one another with his words. Woo, glory, glory. Sister Rita Boyd, I'm hoping you'll get this program tonight. Sister Rita Boyd will send it your way. And I believe the angels is coming down your way. In that Johnson City Hospital, my God, they something about it tonight. They something about it tonight. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, yes. Yes. Here we go. Give us a Holy Ghost. Woo! I know a lot of adults. They see the children get the Holy Ghost and they get upset because they ain't got it. You gotta seek for it. You gotta pray for it. You gotta cry out unto Him. If you need the Holy Ghost, why don't you come on up here? If you need the Holy Ghost, if you need to be saved, why don't you come on up here? If you need deliverance, if you need to be healed, anything you have need of, why don't you come on up here tonight? My God, it's here, it's here. I want to face anybody. Do you need anything tonight? Holy 
Jesus is real.
Just for a moment on this. These children is very important to the house of God. Parents, grandparents, don't never doubt the children. They are very important to the house of God. I talk to a lot of pastors, a lot of preachers, and a lot of them don't want children in the church. A lot of them don't have any. Talked to a pastor up in Richmond the other day, just a few days ago, and said, I've got a nice church, but I ain't got no elder people. I mean, no young people, just elder. Honey, without children, you ain't got no lambs. Without lambs, you ain't going to have no sheep. And if you ain't got lambs to grow up to be sheep, after a while, your church will be gone. The sheep is going to pass away. Amen. And I want you to know, I'd like for you to bring every child that you can from newborn up. Amen. From newborn, hear me, from newborn up. Amen. Sunday school teachers would love to have your children. They teach you the word of God. They bring them up on the anointing of God. They cut them when we cut them out of time. Amen. When they go from one class to another, we got four classes done. Have a walk with a teenager now. Amen. When she gets through with them, they're ready to come upstairs. Amen. For me and Brother Austin, amen. To teach them. We need our people in the house of God. We don't need them in jail cells. We don't need them in prison. We don't need them out here running up and down the highway. We need them in the house of God. And you'll see a great big difference in your home life, in your home where they live, on the job where they work, and when they're in school. Extra school teachers, amen, they know those that's in the house of God and then talk the word of God. Amen. Let us, let us, I said us, U.S., Help your children. Let us help mom and dad. Let us help grandpa and grandma. Amen. And let all them help us. Woo. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. This is a body <coughs> ministry. Amen. 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 And I don't care. Amen. I ain't no better than you are. Oh, no. Amen. I didn't have nothing to do with God calling me to preach or calling me to pastor. Amen. By the time I wait, I'll be back first to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's all I need to tell you. It's time to preach to you. Amen. But the Bible said, Abide in your calling. Abide in your calling. God has called people to pastor. God has called. It's a fivefold ministry. Amen. You're going to find out a, a few days down the road. Amen. It's a fivefold ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we need them all. Need them all. And we need you. Yes. Amen. We need you and you need us. We work together. Yes. We come together. And let us help one another. Amen. 
Praise God. I want you to know something. These children, they touch my heart. I'm glad and I thank God every day for the children that we've got. Amen. Like to have more. Oh, yes. Amen. More. Like to have more adults too. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, do. Amen. Praise God. I tell you, if you bring the people, God will feed them. God will feed them. Amen. Praise the Lord. I tell you. Ain't tonight been fun? to tell me they would bring their children but said they scream and cry and holler. Honey, I don't believe they got to scream on that sound. Huh? Then we got them others that say, you're too loud. I'm coming to you, you're too loud. Then I got the others say, I will come to your church but you got a hypocrite down there. I said, one more won't matter. Come on. Always got a Amen. Praise God. Amen. One more, Father. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Honey, I'm going to tell you something. We don't come here looking for Paul. We come here looking for Jesus. Amen. Jesus will take care of our faults if we'll come. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I love God's way of living, first of all. Praise the Lord. Bill. I, I don't think we can say any more any more too about uh, what God's already done tonight. Let's give this young girl a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now this one's going to get too young. Them two small ones standing here, you know what they was done? They was watching us. And what we do, what we do, they done. Amen. They watch us. You see? Children watch you and they learn at a young age. Amen. Once they get at teenagers and get out here the way they like this, they'll hardly reach. Amen. But let's bring them up in the, in the abomination of the Lord. Amen. In the house of God. Teach them to praise God. Teach them to love the Lord. And you'll see a great big difference in your children. And you'll see a great big difference in your uh, home life and all like that. Amen. We'll work with your children. I don't care how mean they are. I don't care how loud they are. I don't care if they make a face at me or something. But boy, it's all over. they be happy with yes, you know? Praise the Lord. We want to help them. Amen. Praise God. I'm telling you. Amen. And I love These little children touch my heart when I see them watching one of us and doing the things that we do. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes they don't know which one. <laughs> Amen. Praise what makes it good. Now we were getting ready here in a few minutes. We're going to have a bad time. <laughs> Amen. Church, 
Why don't you try God? Why don't you try the Lord? Amen. You know, the devil will take you back any time. Yes, he will. You can only come to Jesus when the Spirit draws you. No matter how much you pray, how long you pray, if that Spirit ain't drawing you, you cannot be saved. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. You've got to come when the Spirit draws you. And he said, my Spirit will not strive with man always. So I'm asking you, amen. If you haven't been, you need to be. Then if you backslid on the Lord, out of church, and you come back to God, you've got to go back to that water and grave. The Bible teaches us we have to do our first works over. Amen. I'm a man, me and my associate, we tell you the truth. Amen. And so we want you to make it. We want you to go to heaven. But I'm going to be quiet turning over to somebody else. Here, I've got to change clothes. Amen. Uh, who am I going to turn it on? Amen. Brother C. All right. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. It's revival time. And maybe next week, but it's already started. And it's been going for a long time. And it's going to continue to go into the rapture. Amen. Well, hallelujah. You can tell we've been in that apostolic church tonight. We're all sweaty. <laughs> My voice is out of whack. <laughs> you can tell we've been in church. Yeah. You know why we may go somewhere? I don't know if anyone's going to eat afterwards. But I'm probably going home because I got a lot to do. We all got a lot to do. But you know, we it's good to know that this church, yeah. now I'm talking about the local church here, not the church. I'm just talking about this part of the church. Yeah. That's around the world, because there's a lot of other apostolic churches, not just in the U.S., but also around the world. Jesus said, go ye therefore, amen, praise the Lord to all the world, and teach and preach the gospel. You know, Matthew said, since we're going to be having a baptize, you know, actually Jesus said in Matthew to be baptized in the name of the Father. You know, I've seen a lot of baptizings on YouTube and they'll say it so differently. They'll say the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They leave out in and of. That's the catch right there. And of. So the name of the Father. The name of the Son. The name of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't say names, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Read your Bible. Jesus said in the name. And we know tonight that that name is Jesus. When we call on that name, we can see people get saved. When we call on that name, we can see people get healed. At that name, you know, I did that purposely tonight when we start saying Jesus. Because when we say Jesus, something happens. When we say Jesus, just like tonight, we saw a little girl get the Holy Ghost. There's nothing too hard for us. There's nothing too hard for God. Read your Bible. Hallelujah. How many believe God is real tonight? I said, how many believe God is real tonight? If God was a real, she wouldn't got the Holy Ghost tonight. Nobody will have the Holy Ghost tonight, including me. But guess what? We got that gift, that promise that Peter preached about. Praise the Lord. So as pastor and associate gets ready for those who are getting baptized, we want you to make your way up to the baptistry. And for those that want to see this moment, amen, just come on up to the platform here. And let's just continue this Holy Ghost party tonight. The party hasn't ended yet. It's still going. Uh -huh. Woo! Well, baptize me in Jesus' name. Oh, 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 Jesus, we praise you, we honor you, we thank you for what you're doing through our brother Chase and his family. Lord, every devil in hell's nervous tonight. 
because kingdom builders are on the way. So Lord, in obedience to the commandment of your word, I now indeed baptize my brother in the only saving name, the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of all of his sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> For our sister Catherine. Lord, you got a purpose, you got a calling, you got a will for their lives. Lord, it is no coincidence that you filled Michaela with the Holy Ghost on this night. And Lord, in obedience to the commandment of your word, I now indeed baptize this my sister in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and she shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Woo! Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for even as a little child, she's born again of the water and of the spirit tonight. So, Lord, we now indeed baptize this our sister in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and she shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Well, Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, I bring this great, wonderful sister before the throne of grace. God, she is a light to so many people. Lord, they see that light is shining. Father, the angels are taking the on their power, Lord. And you said there's a guardian angel watching over her. And we are going to baptize this sister and obedient and commanding to thy word. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the nation of sin, and she shall receive that gift of that holy ghost. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's Brother Gene Boyd. Brother Chris. We're here at the Byway Church in Jesus' name. Hey, we've been stacking coats up all oh, month long. We got yeah. more donations come in. Going to put on some kids. Like on November the 16th, right here at the BWC in Raven, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., we're going to be handing out the coats. Free. Separated in beans. Free coats to all the children. Uh, all sizes. We're also gonna have some hot chocolate down here lined oh, out yeah. too, just in case it's a little chilly day. Whether it's chilly or not, you can always have some hot chocolate and cheese. We hope to see you here. We'll be talking to you with you more soon before then. Bless you. Have a good day in Jesus' name.